Hi YouTube, uh, today's video I'm going to be showing you about um, what I think is the ultimate plugin for Pro Tools or DaVinci Resolve or any other door or video editing program um, and it's not software, uh, it's one of these things it's really a plug-in controller or it's kind of like a mouse um, gadget, the knob a controller I'm going to show you how I use it for sound editing and also video editing, I'm going to try and share the screen and show you how it actually controls it. This is a really handy gadget. Why I call it a plug-in is because uh, <laughs> you know, the cable, it's a USB connector. You plug it into your computer and it just works for every uh, bit of software on your computer. But I'll show what it looks like. So the knob controller is connected to my uh, trusty MacBook and I'm running Pro Tools at the moment with an audio session stuff put up here. And what I want you to see is that um, if I put my mouse over any value of any, uh, well, any plug-in that's in there, maybe the compressor, for example, if I open the compressor and my mouse over, we're gonna try and square this better later on, but if I just mouse over one of the values and then start on the controller here, let's see if we can go to both at the same time. If I turn up slightly, you see the ratio of the compressor is changing. So just by turning the knob, I'm basically changing the mouse position. It's it's kind of like the vertical and horizontal scroll of your um, uh, of your mouse. So put, put put your cursor over here to the threshold, for example. There's a threshold. Just put it over the top and start turning, and it it adjusts the threshold for your for your uh, compressor. But it works on everything on your computer. So let me take it off here and put it on an EQ. I've got one, I think, in. Yeah, I mean, Ozone, if I select a particular um, part of my... Now, I'm, I'm going horizontally here. This is also part of the thing here. There's a button on here showing is it operating horizontally or vertically. So now it's going um, horizontally. Now it's going vertically. On the really handy bit about it, this, which I don't know how they've done electronically, is if I just touch this and do the same value... It now goes horizontally, and now it goes vertically. So it's really, really super simple control um, to just um, move anything on your mouse in a very finely controlled manner. This is not uh, indented. The, the controller here, it's all completely smooth. And you can see it's uh, going really quite smoothly there. It feels like I'm turning, well, I'm turning a dial to control something on the computer, which for me works really good on any plug-in on my computer. So here's a, a quick description of how the thing works, or what it does for you in particular. Um, the, 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 the knob, the control, is the adjustment. So if uh, if it's moving horizontally, it moves horizontally, uh, vertically, it moves it vertically. Um, a, a single touch on one of the buttons changes that function. So when it's in the mode where it goes vertical, touch it and turn the dial, it goes horizontal. Or if it's in the mode where it goes horizontal, touch it and it goes vertical. Really fast to use. The other one, which is quite handy when you need to get the hang of it, is what happens when you let go of the control. If you like, uh, you, you clicked on a particular parameter you want to adjust and you take your, uh, uh, you, you release it, where does the cursor return to? So imagine you've adjusted to the right and you let go of it. Is your cursor back on the control or still in the same place? Um, you get the hang of it once you use it a few times, but basically it's, it's, it's handy to be able to switch sometimes. So in the same way, touching it, use the control, alters the function, really handy thing. I'll put a link in the description to another guy's video on this thing because you can even do more with it. There's a bit of software by the manufacturers where you can program it to have certain key functions which have it specific controls. So if there's some handy thing you need to do um, that's a bit more complicated with a, a key and the knob control, you can make it do something for your own needs. I've never bothered with that, but I'll put the guy's link in. Really good thing. So we're in the DaVinci Resolve with a video edit of some music. And the same way, if I put my mouse anywhere like I'd normally do in DaVinci Resolve, if I, if I select this 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 block here, this uh, area of um, this bit of video, uh, and you notice my mouse has different um, functions as it moves across the screen, well, whatever the function is, it's now being controlled by the knob controller. So, for example, if I move it to the right, it moves it to the right. Uh, if I move up uh, to the volume uh, adjustment here, or the gain adjustment, I suppose it should be called, really. If I now go and adjust it, it makes it um, quieter. Sorry, quieter or louder. You can see it moving as I move my control. Notice I'm uh, using um, 
the finger to make it the up and down as opposed to the horizontal movement otherwise i could flick it up here and then now it's always up and down and if i move it here it's horizontal so you can switch the function just by simply touching that it's really fast fast way to control it uh, and this works on on any feature in the application so in this case i'm editing the video if i go to uh the color wheels and stuff and to editing here on this um in the same way i can adjust the the um uh, the settings for my video here so if i just uh, click on here and adjust it up and down i can do really fine tuning of the color changes i want to do and the same applies in any um part of the application you need really nice weird stuff with it if you go into the sound editing part and if i use some elements on here maybe i'd add some effect i can also uh, control the effects by using the same controller it's really handy gadget um not sponsored I, I bought this one second hand actually i found a guy selling it second hand and i'd had the tip from uh, a mastering engineer it's one of the things he used almost all the time as well using hardware for his mastering he uses various plugins and this is a really handy thing and i i really think it's a great gadget so check them out if you can find one second hand they're really fantastic there's not a lot that can go wrong with it uh, brand new you need to order them from some guys in greece and they make a really sturdy uh, product um not sponsored but uh, i'm a fan basically <laughs> um handy product what can i say no <laughs> get one <laughs> right